Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living, and thanks for watching my videos, and welcome to my new subscribers. And yeah, let's talk about Dollar Tree for a little bit. Um, I've had several people ask me if, you know, if and when I was going to go to Dollar Tree and do some couponing there. I've used a few coupons at Dollar Tree. Oh yeah, and if you don't know, Dollar Tree did start taking uh, coupons the end of September, I think, the 26th or something. So... You know, I went in back then. I think I used a coupon then, one, because I found something. And now I can't even remember what it was. Um, but anyhow, and then I went to another one, this one I went to tonight, which was near the Home Depot, just in the same shopping complex. And that's pretty much the reason I went over there. I thought, well, I hadn't been in a while, so let me go look. And uh, I had used a few coupons there, and, and the cashier was Mr. Cranky, who hated couponers, and he was telling my man about it when he started putting the stuff up on the, the conveyor belt. And and then and he goes, oh, maybe we need a different line, because <laughs> she's got coupons back here. It was just really funny. <laughs> but um, anyhow, yeah, there was a lot more hassle tonight over coupons than what I got a month ago. And... Um, you know, it, it, in my opinion, it is not worth it. It is not worth it. Um, one, the sizes on these things are a lot smaller than what I would get at the normal store or buying them at Rite Aid, you know, when they have deals on them or whatever. And so I'm using my upper wards to pay for it and whatever. So, um, yeah, it, it and, and the hassle they have to go through because they have a, a one like coupon policy and um, and so and then they have to manually enter the coupons and now they've gone to having to call the manager over there to accept all of the coupons before she can even ring anything up so fortunately I don't I was being stalked by the manager. She kept walking by and pretending like she was doing something when she wasn't, and she was just peering in the my my coupon bag like when she walked by and everything. And um, and then another when I was there, I heard him call for the manager, but I wasn't up there, so I don't know. But it was probably because somebody else had a coupon, because just as soon as I had said to the cashier, I was like putting this, I laid these hefty bags on the, on the cash, on the um, conveyor belt, and I said, I've got some coupons for some of these things. Do you want me to put the coupons with the items they go with? And she grabs the phone and says, I need a manager. <laughs> and um, anyway, so basically, yeah, then they had, then I had to wait on Slowpoke manager who has this giant vacuum cleaner and she has to vacuum all the way up there because she ain't going to waste any steps so she's going to waste them come back here and, and, and stalking me she wasn't pushing the vacuum cleaner then that's why I know she was just she was just trying to see what I was up to with my coupons so anyhow um yeah I got some items here that I'll show you with the coupons and then I, there's a few items that they would not um, accept the coupons for. So I bought a few um, other things. I buy my um, dryer sheets there. I just use these to keep the static out of my clothes. I don't like bounce. I'm allergic to it. Um, I'm allergic to fabric softeners and stuff. They make me itchy. And um, and I have found that just getting these <laughs> cheap ones, this is 55 in here, for at the dollar store. And um, Big Lots has, I, I like the Big Lots brand that they have over there that's like a dollar. Um, but anyways, I picked some up, these up tonight. And this is a lint roller. Uh, Spanish olives, Egyptian olives, California olives. <laughs> so those things I didn't have coupons for. Now, the Werther's, I don't have a coupon laying here because I don't know where another one is right now, but it's a 75 cent off of two um, caramels. And she accepted that one. She's obviously seen it before, but I don't necessarily think that's a good deal on this package size. This one that's half or twice as big as the ones I got at Dollar Tree, I got this at Rite Aid last week a week before, you know, for the same price. So, but I'm showing you this as options for people who might not have other options on to buy stuff. So, anyhow, just bear with me. 
This speed stick was the only thing that I physically got for free. This one is a 1.8 ounce, which is not excluded on this coupon. And, man, she was really trying to figure out how to tell me I couldn't use this coupon on that item. I said, look, it doesn't say 1.8 ounce. She's like, I don't know why they left the 1.8 ounce off the coupon. Okay, whatever. These hefty uh, sandwich bags are 15 count. I used this dollar off the two coupon. Uh, she had no reason not to accept this. She, she was looking for a reason on all my coupons not to take them. You know, it's the store's policy. It's not her policy. It's the store's policy to take coupons. So she shouldn't be, you know, it's just goofy. Uh, that's why I think they've had some problems. It's probably problems on the cashier's fault, <laughs> not on the customer's fault, probably on most of it. Other than those uh, Marvel vitamins, okay, those are Marvel vitamin coupons, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, these are gum items, and uh, yeah, I was paying 50 cents a piece for these. They come with little traveling cases. They're just picks, and this is a dollar off of two. Um, I've never in my life bought these before, <laughs> so this particular thing, um, whatever. Um, I like the, these little boxes they came with. I think those will be handy, um, and I will use those items. These um, Betty Crocker cookie mixes. I used this coupon right here. If this was in the the Betty Crocker and uh, General Mills uh, insert that we got, it's 75 cents off a of two. You know what? The Werther's coupon was a dollar off a of two, not 75 cents off a of two, because this was the 75 cent coupon I used. She was trying to figure out how this coupon wasn't going to work for me either. But it's 17.5 ounce or larger cookie mix. There it is, 21 ounces. <clears throat> now, I'll give you that any other time. <coughs> I have looked at that. Um, it has their they were smaller bags, but now they have these bigger bags. So, yeah, she had to take it. These Lysol are smaller bottles than what you get at other stores. Uh, you know, it's one of those things. This is kind of a tricky one because this doesn't go on sale all the time. We don't have coupons all the time. But here's a fifty cents off a of two. Now this coupon would double at the grocery store. But am I going to find a bottle for a dollar at the grocery store? And You know, it's one of those subjective things, if you need it or not. Okay, really quick. There was a three-pack of this Sargento's cheese, uh, string cheese. She wouldn't accept it. She says, these pictures say 12-ounce packages and, or 12-piece packages, and you don't have a 12-piece package. I thought that was ridiculous. There were some Uncle, Uncle Ben's white rice with taco seasoning flavor. She wouldn't take this coupon for that either, which I thought was ridiculous. I didn't pick them up. There were Hall's 18-count packages you could use that coupon on. I've seen a lot of people um, using this Jingo's uh, coupon. I didn't find any of those. So anyways, that's what I did. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.